I'm gonna turn this re turn this chicken that I got at Meyer for $6.99 into three meals. I'm gonna take off the two breasts. Each one's gonna be a separate meal, and the rest is going in this pan to make either vegetable soup or chicken noodle soup. So right now I'm gonna tear it apart. Here's the two chicken breasts, and here's the rest of the chicken. It's going in this pan. I got um water in there. So I'm just going to pick this up somehow and put it in the pan. And then I'll cook it just like that. And I have a strainer thing that will strain all the stuff out when I'm done. Put this in there. The skin I'll give to the dogs and stuff and some of that. So this I'll just turn on once it wants to start. And I am going to add um, rosemary and thyme. Because either way, if I make when I make a vegetable chicken soup, I always add rosemary and thyme. And then um, I'm going to cook this down for about an hour. And then I'm going to drain it, tear it apart, and then I'm going to decide if I want... I know I'm going to have carrots and celery if I'm going to have um, noodles. Either way, I'm going to have that because that's in my freezer. I've already froze them. So I'll take some of those out, and they'll go in here, and then onions and garlic. And then uh, I'll show you what I do with the other ones too. So this will cook now. Okay, the chicken itself is boiling, so I will put my timer, which is going to kind of confuse me for the other thing, but that's okay. No, I'm not going to put the timer on yet. I'm just going to turn this down to low, media, low, between zero and two. Mine has like low and two, right around there, because it will continue boiling, because this is a um, cast iron Dutch oven. Of course, Pioneer Woman's. So that will cook for about an hour. Now this is starting to boil. So then you turn it down. You want it to boil a little bit, but you don't want it to boil too rapidly because you want like a simmer. And now you put your lid on. Now we'll set the timer for seven minutes. And then when that's done, I just have to add 53 minutes to make it my hour. So when this is done in seven minutes, then I'll add one of those chicken breasts. Okay, I got all the meat off the bones. This is just bones and fat for the cats. And then in here, I've cooked for about 20 minutes my carrots and celery and onions. And with the, oh, that's all the chicken. That's a lot of chicken from the rotisserie chicken. See, I can make three meals quite easy. This meal would feed way more than two people. This is about three cups of noodles. This is how I do my um, celery and carrots. I get carrots um, from the farmer's market. Then I brought them home and cut them all up and froze this stuff. So I could just use it when I want soup. I just open it up, take some out, put it back in. So now it's starting to boil. Once it gets boiling, I want to put the noodles in. And then I'm going to boil them for like seven minutes. In there, there's the noodles about three cups. You can use whatever kind of noodles you want. Whatever your choice. So it's going to be, once the noodles are done, this will be pretty thick. And I've already got my rosemary and thyme and oregano in here. I haven't put salt or anything in. My husband always adds salt when he makes his plate. Like I give him the bowl, he'll add salt. So I don't really like to add salt. because Nobody needs that much salt. So I'll let this go. Boil like this for seven minutes and then I'll check it. And I will give you guys, um, I'll bowl it up and let you guys see what it looks like. And uh, my taste tester is not home, so I want to get these videos done so you guys know that I can make three meals out of rotisserie chicken. You could even make, if you don't like the rice one, you can make chicken tacos. You can make um, scalp potatoes with chicken. You can do what you want. There it is boiling. Okay. My cup says feeling super for super good. Super. That's funny. Anyway, here is the chicken noodle soup all done. The last meal for the rotisserie chickens.
gonna get one of these spoons so I can show you how it looks like. I don't know it tastes delicious, I'm just gonna show you. So this is the third meal from rotisserie chicken. This is enough for way more than me and Kyle. So I will be on a cool. See if my niece or somebody wants some chicken noodle soup. Oh my god, I might step over one of them. So anyways, chicken noodle soup. So this is meal number three. Tell me what you guys make out of your rotisserie chicken, if you make anything. I think it's just easier to do it that way. Okay guys, you pray for me, I pray for you, pray for the world. Bye guys.